could have danced all night. I try and approach every song as a scene or a monologue. Um, there, there has to be a why. Why am I singing it? What does the character, what do I want? Why, why have I burst into song? You know, what's what's necessary? What is the desire? What is the need? Um, so I kind of feel like I can't sing things unless I have a why. With a, a song like I could have danced all night, I just love the joy of it. I love being able to invite the audience to to be a part of that because you you, you know when you're doing a concert, there's no, there's no fourth wall. You're not in any way, shape, or form, you know, pretending that the audience isn't there. They're there, and so I like to invite them in in that way. I like my concerts to feel like you're in my living room and we're getting to know each other. <laughs> It's not easy to be a character in a show, but at least you can hide behind that. Um, so when you take all of that away and it's just you, the vulnerability sometimes is very scary. Um, but through my years of doing this and especially watching how Barbara Cook just allowed herself the grace to mess up or get emotional or get tickled and crack up, whatever, um, I saw that firsthand doing concerts with her for all those years. And it's certain, certainly something that I studied, even watching Judy Garland, the the, the incredible sort of um, archives we have of, of her concerts, you know, her live at, at Carnegie Hall, the vulnerability that she um, sort of possessed um, allowed, allowed me as an audience member in even more and allowed me to experience her humanity. Um, and in the end, I think that's what we're all looking for. Treat yourself to Rodgers and Hammerstein's 80th anniversary on Great Performances.